When it comes to gaming, there are few tools that draw as much controversy as emulation. Emulators are pieces of software that allow one piece of hardware to run software not originally designed for it. While the term has a variety of uses in computing, you'll likely be most familiar with emulators in the gaming world, where emulators built for Windows, Mac, and Android allow you to play games from previous generations of consoles. Whether you're looking to preserve your old games by dumping them into a software emulator, or you've picked up a used game that you don't have the correct system to play, emulators can be a great tool for gaming. Let's take a look at some of the best emulators on Windows today. By far, the emulator on Windows with the most flexibility, usability, and customization options is RetroArch. RetroArch serves as a front end for emulators, essentially allowing for a number of game systems to be played using its slick, PlayStation-esque interface on one single menu. With support for dozens of consoles, arcade emulators, and handhelds, RetroArch makes it easy to keep your settings synced and your game files in one location. Setting up RetroArch requires you to download and update the core emulators you want to use within the software. Once that's complete, you can load your chosen emulator and select the game file from your own personal collection of dumped games. RetroArch supports a huge variety of software emulation, including every Nintendo console from the NES to the Wii and 3DS, the Sony PlayStation and PSP, most of Sega's home consoles, every Atari console, and a number of arcade emulators. Any controller that works with Windows will automatically work with RetroArch, and controlling games is easy using synced system preferences. Games play well, though some newer emulators like Dolphin struggled within RetroArch compared to their own independent versions. When it comes to emulation, however, there's no easier way to get set up than by using RetroArch, which makes it the best emulator on Windows by a long shot. However, it's not alone. There are plenty of fantastic emulators on Windows worth picking up, and one of our favorites is PCSX2, a PS2 emulator that allows for your older PS2 games to be transferred and archived on your PC. PCSX2's main fallback is the difficulty in setting up the emulator, as you'll need to dump the BIOS file from your own individual PS2 to get the emulator up and running. Once you've set up PCSX2, however, you'll find that the system is perfect for playing and revisiting those PS2 games you loved years ago. With a number of tools that allow you to improve your older games, including the ability to implement a native widescreen mode and the option to improve the resolution of your games through software, any PS2 exclusive game will undoubtedly look better on your PC. Speaking of which, if you're into PlayStation emulation and you have a powerful enough PC, it's definitely worth looking into also using RPCS3, a PS3 emulator that allows you to play any PS3 game you might have in your collection. Development on that emulator isn't as far ahead as on older platforms, so keep in mind that plenty of games may have compatibility issues. Dolphin is an emulator that allows you to play both GameCube and Wii games on your PC. And though it too is difficult to set up and install on your computer, it's an incredibly powerful system that allows you to play classics like Super Mario Galaxy at 1080p high definition resolutions. Without a remake or port of games like Galaxy or The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on consoles like the Wii U or the Nintendo Switch, using Dolphin might be the best way to play those games in 2018. Dolphin is also included in RetroArch, but its standalone version is much more powerful and feature-packed. By no means are these the only emulators available in 2018, but they are some of the best. If you're looking to revisit some of your favorite old classic video games, emulation is one of the best ways to do it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and make sure to subscribe to Tech Junkie for new videos every day.